Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of Snack Bites. Um, so now we're going to talk about this like weird dynamic that's going on between Dwight and the Alexandrias, uh, particularly Tara and uh, Daryl, who are just like... Rosita, who's like, <sighs> over it. God, it's like, kind of the face she makes. They're all like really irritating me, particularly Tara. Like Tara, I just, I don't know what the hell's going on with her. I understand that she's mad about Denise and all that stuff, but like she is way putting everybody at risk with well, all this I mean, crap. there's a time for everything. They're trapped in the swamp. They're trying to avoid the saviors. There's walkers everywhere. They they just had their neighborhood, you know, blown up to hell. And uh, Dwight is helping, you know, regardless of what you want to say about him. And, you know, she takes this injured dude. Like, they're supposed to be helping to watch the people. And then they walk away, you know. And it's just so irresponsible. It gets people killed. And seriously, Tara should know better than anyone coming from who came from the enemy side of the lines, who came from the side of the fence where the Herschel cover. got his head chopped off. Yeah, seriously. Who came from the side of the fence where there was a tank that blew up the prison. Um, she should know, you know, now technically, okay, so Tara didn't actually kill anyone, but I'm just saying, like, she should have more perspective into switching from one side to another. And Dwight did, you know, he did kill his own people. Well, she's also doing this thing that a lot of people have been doing this season, which is just, like, blatantly deviating from the plan. I mean, like... Well, yeah, didn't she learn her lesson with Daryl, and when the saviors escaped, it made it worse. Exactly. She did not learn her lesson. Like, and then it messed up Rick's whole thing. It, but, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, though, it's kind of funny, because, like, you know, Daryl was super insubordinate to Rick, and now Tara's being super insubordinate to Daryl, and it's kind of like, you see how that feels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see what well, happens when we don't go with the plan it, it doesn't work out so well he got pissed at Tara oh my god he was like up in her face screaming at her um, which I think she deserved because he, he started yelling about Dwight but we all know he was still really angry at her Dwight he didn't just do couldn't. anything I know what I'm saying he wasn't really yeah. angry at Dwight he was angry at Tara for going off script yeah that was totally her fault um, I, I mean I don't know like what she thought was going to happen like she thought that she was just going to like lead him out away from the group assassinate him and she and thought she was going to pull a Shane yeah okay she thought she was going to Shane him and then you know. like, you're just going to come back without him and like what excuse made up with, with that whole thing it and, just doesn't make any sense and I'll give Dwight credit um he didn't know if the saviors knew he had turned or not and lucky luckily for him they didn't know Laura is I don't know maybe she's dead somewhere possibly sounds like she is he, uh, he played that off really well, convincingly. Where's he going to go now? Is he going to go back to the sanctuary? Well, that's where he was when Negan was doing his demonstration with the bat. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. He, he pushed himself to the front of the line. So I guess, oh, man, he must be pissed. He's like, God, here again. Well, now he can sabotage from the inside again. I mean, if he doesn't get found out as a mole before then. Unless Laura turns back up, he won't. But Negan's also suspicious even, of him, too, though. I don't think he was. Negan is more distracted by Simon right now. Than That's anything. true. And if Dwight was smart, if Dwight was smart, my first thing I explained to Negan where I've been like, yeah, the others found me by the swamps. I, you know, we got ambushed. Laura was working for him. I couldn't believe it. She gunned us down. You better hope she's <laughs> dead with a story like that. Well, no, because then she is just he said, she said. And if he says it first, you know, Head her off at the pass, and then you know, as soon as she comes through the gates, I'd be like, "Traitor!" That Traitor! might work. I don't know though. Negan's so smart. I mean, he knows that Dwight has a reason to like hate him and want to rebel against him. He's gonna take. But that he doesn't account. believe Dwight would do it. That's why he has Dwight. Mm -hmm. That's why Dwight's in such an exalted position because he because trusts Dwight won't do that. All of his closest people are slowly turning against him. I mean, that's like what's happening right now. Well, so. they were, remember they were worried about a mole in the ranks to begin with, right? Before Rick pinned them in and then Negan kind of forgot about it. But I've been like, Negan, I gotta tell you something. Mm. It was Laura. She was working on the inside. She turned a gun on us, man. That's how I got shot. I, I thought it was interesting that, that Daryl like stood up for him almost immediately when he was explaining himself. Like, I mean, you never would have thought in a million years. Well, Daryl did see him shoot his own people. Not just yeah. one, but so several. But Tara, though. Well, Tara, she's... They all uh, did. She's not rational. I mean, like, seriously, Rosita was there. They were all in the same That's crew. why Rosita and like, Daryl were like, Tara, calm your ass down. Go sit down somewhere. But it was dumb of Daryl to have left Tara over there with him in the first place. 
he should have known better. Any leader could have seen that. Like, think back to when, you know, Michonne and Merle had that really, you know, uh, antagonizing relationship. What did Rick do? When Rick went on the run, he t- he could have taken Merle, but he took Michonne with him instead yeah. to keep, make sure they were separated. Yeah. Like, I don't want any problems while I'm gone. Yeah. Daryl should have taken Tara and said, okay, Rosita, you hang back with Dwight and watch everyone and make sure everyone's okay. That probably would have been wise. Duh. Yeah. That would have been wise. Like, I, don't, I don't have time for your shenanigans, But then Tara. again, it doesn't really like surprise me that Daryl would make a rookie mistake like that because he's not very good at following the plan to begin with. Yeah. So that seems like a mistake that he would make. Um, he's been making he, tons They needed of sh- like Carol, Michonne, or Rick there to have been like, Tara, you go this way, away from him. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Pe- people have had a lot of bad consequences this season from just not following the plan. Like, just follow the plan. Yeah. It's there. It's laid out. That's why it's called a plan. Just follow it, goddammit. Um, anything more about Dwight and uh, Tara and Daryl? I think it was a mistake for Dwight to not tell the saviors as soon as he found that Laura had turned. Instead of asking, hell, have you seen her? He should have been like, man, be careful if you run to Laura. She's one of them. Or, like, I think she's one of them. No, even. no, Definitive. Definitive. Well, shoot her on sight. Yeah. She shot me. See this bullet wound? She shot me. <laughs> I was like, that might work. Shoot her. You know, like, don't even give it a chance. I, they, don't they, let they, her say anything. They just handed like an AK right to him after his story. Like, no doubt whatsoever. Exactly. I mean, it's God. He's got. They wouldn't believe him. People. It's crazy. That's how you should have said. She. She. She is the mole. You gotta kill that bitch. Yeah. Don't give her a chance to speak. Just shoot her. Yeah, when you put it that way, you're probably right. Shoot her. Um, anything else? Nope. If you guys like our content, make sure to subscribe up here in the corner. Also, follow us on Instagram at R- oh, RL Rishon, sorry, on Twitter at Living Rishon, and check out the website, thelivingrishon.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.